Hello everybody, so it's been a while since I've done uh, any product reviews but I have quite a lot coming up. So I only take on product reviews if they are relevant to my van, my channel or for you guys. If I think they will benefit you and I always ask for discount codes or products to give away as well to try and get something back to, try and give something back to you guys. So this is a digital wireless backup camera with a 7-inch seven, seven monitor kit. Now, my experience with wireless reversing cameras, especially in a long vehicle, is that the image can be a little bit hit or miss, a little bit crackly, with a lot of interference. That may be the case. I'm wondering if I can hardwire this, these, these, you know, the camera to the screen. But we shall see. So I was, all, I was really a bit hesitant about agreeing to this collaboration because of the fact that it's wireless and not hardwired. But I agreed to it because I thought I'll give it a go because I've I've already got reversing cameras and lots of cameras on my van. But I do don't have a camera that faces straight down. I want one that faces straight down so that I can reverse right up to a wall. And I don't have one of that. So the good thing about this screen is you can have multiple cameras on it. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's have a look because it. I have opened it and it looks so good. The camera it looks incredible on it. And the screen is actually massive. I haven't peeled off the thing yet, so it's got some fingerprints on the screen, but the screen is actually massive. Let's pop it out and have a look. So yeah, it's actually a big screen, isn't it? Quite often with reversing cameras in the past, the screens have been tiny, so you've had to kind of move right close to it, but that is a beasty old screen. Um, plenty of options and oh, there's going to be loads, loads that we can mess around with on this. Um, there's a couple of stands. There's one that you can stick to the window or stick to the dashboard or there's one that you can hard fix to the dashboard which is probably what I'm going to get. So that is the screen and this is the camera which I'm just like I super like the look of this camera. It's really weighty, it feels really heavy duty. Um, it's got a good rubber waterproof seal um, and I haven't read the instructions yet but it's either a light or like infrared to make sure you've got good night vision and on the back you've got an antenna port now this is a coaxial uh, antenna port for a little aerial which are quite smart but I'm wondering if you could get rid of that aerial and just use a coaxial cable to connect this to the screen because you've got one on the back of the screen as well I wonder if you can connect them with a wire instead because I would rather that, that way you've got no interference there you go, you've got a little antenna, <laughs> a little antenna for it, so it's actually a, quite a good size antenna so maybe it won't be, it, maybe I won't get interference but that is a really cool looking camera what else comes in the kit, now you've got this which is uh, how to hard fix the camera so I will fix this to the roof rack of my van and I can, I'll be able to angle it on this bracket wherever I want it to face. I'd like to aim it down enough so I can see the back of the car. I don't know how wide the vision is, how wide the angle of this lens is, but we shall find out, I guess. That is the cable for the camera and it's just got a positive and negative that you need to hook it up to. Hook it up to the rear of the van, the lights or something. This is the light for the power lead for the screen. It's got a cigarette socket on it. So I don't think I'd use that. I think I'd probably hardwire it in. So it's always got power. Uh, ooh, the screen's got a little sun shield. Which I like the idea of that because it'll be on my dashboard and it will be hard to see. There's my wife and my baby. Hey, Bull. Hey, buddy. So yeah, that was for the camera, and we've got one very it's proper, proper stuff. This. It's not like cheap stuff. Anyway, that's the 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 mount that I'll be using for this to mount the screen to the dashboard. And you've got a bit of a rock and rock in motion there that you can choose your angle. But I'm, I think that's well smart. If they're not good products, I won't 
lie about it. Oh, and we got also got in here a peacock looking doodah. Um, you can stick it to your windscreen the screen or your dashboard. I mean, look at that. That's pretty good quality, that thing. That is a really good quality. I like that. I have to try and use that for something else. I might be... I can use that for an, another camera thing, can't I? A camera mount? Can I use it for a camera mount? I'm going to have to take this off once I um, want to fix it to the dashboard, but... just wanted to see what it looks like with the mount on. That's not a small screen, is it? It's probably hard to tell with this lens that I've got, but... That's a big screen. That's quite handy. I mean, that is a really clever thing to, to have, actually. Because you plug in your... You plug something into the cigarette socket and you lose the ability to charge things by USB. Normally you can plug a little USB adapter into a cigarette socket and charge your phones or whatnot. So, this has got a USB on the back of it as well. So you can plug that in and you've still got a way to charge your phone or whatever off the USB from the cigarette socket. That's quite a good little touch, having that there. All right, this is more than just a reversing camera setup. I've just found something out that has made me giddy like a kid. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Up here, camera one, go through the cameras. You could have multiple cameras, camera two, camera three, camera four, and four, you could have four images on this screen. That has made me very excited and I'll tell you why. I'm going to use this as security cameras as well as a reversing monitor. So it's now going to be wired to my leisure batteries so that when I'm in the van at night, I can switch this on on the dashboard because I've got an open dash in my van so I can just sneak, sneak to the front of the van um, and then turn the screen on because it'll be powered separately to the starter, starter engine. And I'm going to have four cameras all around the van so I can use this to just have a quick look around. It's also got a, an SD drive so you can get an SD card um, to record everything. I hope it loops and loops and loops. I hope it, hope it does that, but we'll see, we'll see. But I'm excited, I'm gonna use that for a security camera now. Yay. Hello everyone. Um, mm, mastic ceiling strip. I do already have some, but I bought some more because soon there's gonna be a max fan install happening on my van. Uh, this is a mains battery charger. Um, it has like smart smart modes on it, so it does stop charging a leisure battery when it's full. So my good friend Darren sent that to me. Oh, I sent a link for that to me because um, he's also going to be lending me a leisure battery, which is going to be the power for the shed. These have also been sent to me. These are more cameras. So this is going to be reversing cameras slash security cameras. So yeah, the, the company sent me these originally and I've asked for three more because I, three more cameras because I want to make the, the reversing camera dual purpose and use it as a, a security camera as well. I'm gonna scatter these cameras all around the van, one for the back, <clears throat> one for the front and one and two on the sides of the van. So I've gotta find some good location for them to go on the van. Um, my wife bought me uh, for a Christmas present a little SD card so we can put an SD card in this monitor and we'll see how we go. I think I'm going to go to the van, start messing around with these cameras and things, at least fit the screen onto the dashboard. Um, yeah these are all, you can all choose the angle that you want for these cameras up and down. I may have to do it like that. I would probably be fixing them to my roof rack on the van. I don't know whether to test them all 
here in the workshop first before we go outside and into the, mess around in the van. The cameras are wireless, they send the picture, the image um, wireless, but they do need a positive and a negative to give them power. Right, let's go to the van. Stop messing around with these cameras. I haven't worked in my van for so long. I really want to get cracking on it, but I'm also quite lethargic and losing motivation with it. Anyway, maybe it also, maybe I'll, this will give me back some some motivation. Getting these set up would be pretty cool. Right, I've just put my heater on, so if you start to hear. The diesel heater going, that's what it is. Um, I don't know if you've seen any of this stuff in my van before, but I have I have got an, a 10.1 inch Android screen in here now, which is pretty cool. I was very kindly given that. Um, yeah, it's just awesome. I use it for my maps. As long as you've got the internet in here, it's brilliant. I've also got up here... This was another collaboration I did with a company, but this has been fantastic. It is such so good. So you can choose. This is the um, it's a dash cam, so it's got a camera on the back of the van and on the front of this. So you can choose between the rear view, uh, rear and front, or just the front. Uh, but obviously, I, I leave it on rear because I treat it like a rear view mirror. So I've got that camera at the back. The Android screen also, when I put it into reverse, I do have a different camera which really needs a clean, it's filthy right now. So I can see behind me there as well. Neither of them cameras though, point straight down at the back of the van. And I really want that so you can reverse right up to a wall. But I don't think I'm gonna do that with these either. So, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> because I want this one to be like a security camera. So I want it to just kind of look, see everything. Kind of like that angle there. Um, I don't know. Let's get the screen out and see how it looks in place because it is a big old screen. It's a seven inch screen, so it's, this is a 10 inch screen here. But I was imagining that this would go here. <laughs> now I'm getting a little bit, I don't, I don't know if that's gonna be an MOT failure or not. I've got an MOT coming up in, in a month. Uh, my walkie talkie is here. So the antenna's kind of in your driver's circle. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to find out if that's going to be an MOT failure right there, because it does stick out. It's not in the way of anything. I can see everything, I think. But yeah, hmm, I'm not sure about that. Um, failing that, get, get to get clever and mount it somewhere down there, but I'm hoping it'll be all right up here. Right. Now I just want to put a positive and a negative to one of these cameras and see if I can get it to work on there. Okay, I've just Googled it. Um, any fitting that's original to the car cannot result in failure and if an obstruction affects only the driver's view, and if an obstruction affects only the driver's view of the sky on it, it's not deemed to be a problem. Right, so yeah, it's not a blocking my view. I mean, this is past the MOT, this little antenna, even though it's kind of in the driver's circle. The only grounds for failure should be if the obstruction is impairing the driver's view of the road, which that isn't. So I'm going to fit it and hope for the best in a month or two when my MOT is. I very quickly wired in this camera. This camera. Just very quickly wired it into my fuse box, which is in there. Let's see if that works now. Well, that works, isn't it? Now, it's uh, it's a good image now, but it's because the, that's the distance. But once that camera's at the back of the van, behind all the insulation and everything, it'd be interesting to see how clear the image is. True, the uh, signal can go from this antenna straight out the window. Maybe it'll go that way around, but I don't know. We'll just have to wait and find out. Another thing now I'm w wondering is if all four cameras can run off the same positive and negative. So I'm gonna wire another camera to that same positive and negative and see if we can switch between them. One camera there, 
one camera there, just very, very quickly wired up just to test it out. Yeah, I've got to figure out how to pair each camera to the screen. The one that comes with the screen is already paired, so it makes sense that I've got to do pair the other ones that I requested. I figured it out. I don't know. I didn't do anything. I took it all apart and wired it back up together. Uh, and I've managed to pair two of the cameras. So uh, for a minute I thought that maybe you couldn't power all four cameras on the same power source. But evidently you can. They just need power to power the camera. And then they send the signal wirelessly. So I've got one... C no, you can't see. I'm going to go get my SD card and put it in here. And then I can show you footage from this from these cameras as well. But I've got one ca camera one minute is... Let me show you, see if I can do this. Camera, uh, let's go through them. You can see I've got two cameras here, different sides of the van. One's on the kitchen unit, that one over there is on the kitchen unit. I think they're all reversed right now, so I'm going to see if I can flip the image. So this is camera one, which is on here. See if I can flip the image. Okay, normal. So that's better. That's much better. We'll do the same with the other one. Oh, bugger. Got to go through them all. Okay, so that one's fine. I need to flip this image here because it looks really strange. There we go. Much better. So there's one over there. Right, excellent. I was going to hardwire this. This screen comes with a cigarette plug, cigarette socket plug. I was going to hard just drill a hole, put the cable in the dashboard, and just leave it there hardwired. But I'm wondering if it's going to bene benefit me to be able to take this in the back of the van and plug it in back there somewhere so I don't have to come to the front of the van. I could put it at night time, I could come and just clip it on in the bed area. So I, can, I don't have to get out of bed to see who's around. That's a nice idea, isn't it? What I may do then is, rather than screwing this into the worktop, is get magnets on here. And I could just sit that on the magnets there and do the same in the back somewhere. Right, I don't actually, I don't like wires hanging around and plugged into the cigarettes. Like, I don't like that. So I'm wondering if I could hardwire just hardwire this one in and buy from the company a second screen, which is also paired to the to, to the four cameras, and I can have it elsewhere in the van. Anyway, I've got to do a lot of testing before I decide where everything's going to be mounted permanently. I've always wanted to be able to see what's going on outside the van at night when I've got all the blinds on the windows and you hear noises outside. I have been parked up at night and heard a load of boy races outside. Um, and I heard the I felt the van move as well, so I, I wanted to see what was outside, but all the blinds are on my windows. And I'm having to sort of turn all the lights off in here and peer, 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 you know, peer around the blinds, but it's just a good, good bit of security, good bit of comfort having these here. I can just see what's going on outside. I'll have to come out when it's dark and test out the night vision of these cameras because they're, they're, they're going to be pretty good at night as well, apparently. But if the screen is flickering, by the way, it's, it's not... It's only the frame rate of the camera. It's not flicking him on the screen itself. Okay, another day here. Right, I've decided to mount the, the screen to the dashboard. I just did, I just wanted it fixed in. Um, so yeah, it looks quite smart. Um, I fixed it in with four of these roofing, what are they call? I love these things, I use these for a lot. Self-drilling screws, that they got, you know, they, I use these for solar panels, and solar panels to the roofs and things. So anyway, yeah, I fitted it to, to here. Um, the cable, I took it through the dashboard there, and it goes all the way through the back of this dashboard, and it comes, and I drilled another hole here for the plug to go through, and it just goes into the cigarette socket here. I thought I'd just do that rather than uh, cutting the wire and, and hard wiring it in. In case I ever want to reposition this screen at some point, I can. Uh, I'm also not losing the cigarette port here. I normally use these kind of things for charging, but I've got a USB port on, on that plug, which is very handy. So, And I've got another cigarette socket here as well. Um, I never shut this anyway. This is always out 
I've never shut this ever. Anyway, screen is in place. There's nothing left other than to, to fit all the cameras on the roof. I've got to run a, a I'm gonna run a quite a thick power cable to the roof and put and connect all the cameras, all four cameras, into that, you know, to get their power from that one cable. And I'll have a look for my cable my cable bag now and see what I've got. I might have to order a uh, I'm thinking like a four four mil square cable. That should that would be nice if I got it. I got too carried away, didn't I? So I wanted to power this on my ledger system. So I don't have to turn the ignition on on the van to use this. So I've been thinking about doing this anyway. I've got two cigarette sockets here at the front. One, two. I've been thinking about having one of these connected to the ledger system anyway. So this cigarette, this socket here is for the, you know, starts up when you start the engine on. But this socket here will be powered, will be live all the time from the ledger system. So I'm going to do that, I think. Okay, so when I normally do collaborations, I usually get one or two smart ass comments and saying that you're only saying it's a good product because you got given it for free. It's really not been the case. Every single product I have been given has just been really, really good. I mean, they wouldn't be sending out products if they weren't confident in their product, right? Hmm. This may be an exception to all of the uh, collaborations I've done before. I, it's been months in the making this video, trying to get back and forth with emails with this company, having problems with these cameras. I finally got all four cameras working on the screen. All right, good points. Uh, battery died. So yeah, let me talk about the good points about these cameras. The screen is a real nice big screen. The screen is nice and big. That's one of the good things about it. The wirelessness that I was worried about hasn't been a problem at all, reaching all the cameras. Even when I've got all my blinds on the windows at night, usually it acts like a bit of a um, Faraday cage, is that the right thing? You know, usually when I've got the blinds on uh, with all the foil inside, you can't really get phone signal inside. It's, it certainly limits phone signal, but yeah, the... Uh, this, these cameras do work really well with the wirelessness. That is a good point. But the two cameras, two of the cameras I've sent, don't say it, but they are actually meant to be side-mounted cameras. Which I don't get. I don't get that because all the cameras have got like this little lip at the top to kind of stop, I don't know, rain dripping on the lens or or. Um, you know, kind of a sun shield, sun visor kind of thing. So they all look like they should be mounted upright. So apparently two of them are side mounting cameras, which is why they're on this side. And there's no function to rotate the image, only mirror and spin it upside down. So the company have told me to reposition all my cameras. So I've already made modifications to my roof rack and to my van to be able to get mount the cameras. And now they are saying I got to modify them and, 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 and fit them sideways and there's no real way for me to do that on my van. The way I've got them located now, they're kind of under the roof rack. So they're not going to get wiped out by, by trees and things. So I'm going to ask the company for to send me two more cameras that are the correct way, the correct orientation. So that was annoying. And another point, on all four cameras, they've only been on the van three weeks, two or three weeks. All, this, all the screws, the screws on the side of the cameras to uh, adjust the angle and the screws on the back of the camera holding the whole camera together, they're all rusty. They're all rusty already. And to top it off, I, like I've just this second got the the fourth camera all paired in and working. That's a, a faff as well, trying to pair the cameras. You've got to wire one, disconnect it, put another ca camera in, pair that one, disconnect them. It's a bit of a faff to do that. Anyway. Just got the fourth camera to work and on the screen and I, I thought, oh that's dirty, I'll go and clean the lens. But the lens is actually condensated. There's water and moisture inside the front camera. So yeah, this company are not off to a good start. Now you're not going to see, the sun is glaring through this windscreen, so you're not going to see very much at all. Right, let's turn, these, turn this all on. If it's flickering, that's only because of the frame rate of the camera, it's not because they're actually flickering. And you've got a reflection of me and the GoPro in, in this as well. So this is not top quality YouTubing. 
I haven't yet inserted a SIM card. I've got a memory card to go in here to start recording everything on a loop. Anyway, let's see if we can get this camera to focus. You can see, let me go through the cameras. Camera one is on its side. And there's no, like I said, there's no option to rotate, to rotate the image. Camera one's on its side, so that, that camera either needs to be replaced or fitted on its side. Camera two is fine. That's looking down the left-hand side of my van. Camera three is on its side. That's the other side of the van, but it's on its side again. I either need to rotate the camera or get a, a decent another camera sent to me. And camera four is the front camera, which is incredibly blurry. You can't see very much. But take trust me, it's really not a good image because it's fully condensated up inside that. And the sun is currently beaming on onto that camera. So it was very cold, frosty night last night, but still, they've only been on the van a couple of weeks, and to be leaking and letting water in already, that is not a good start. But, if you have problems with a company, it's all about how they resolve the issue as to whether you still would use them again. I'm going to give the company an opportunity to resolve these issues, the rusty screws, the funny orientation cameras, and the condensated camera, I'm going to give them an opportunity to resolve this issue. If they do, then I will still be putting links to their, you know, I'll still consider it a good customer experience. So yeah, I'm going to leave this in the uh, hands of the company, see if they do anything about it. Because yeah, this is not off to a good start. Yeah, if these cameras, if they're not going to do anything about it, then I'm going to try my best to use these for now. But in the meantime, look for a, a higher quality replacement. It's a shame because the cameras look so good when I open the box. They're weighty, they look really robust and heavy duty, but they are not holding up to the elements. Three weeks and they're rusty and condensated. I mean, that one on the front does get all the driving rain on it, but still, they're meant for external use. Caravans and lorry driving and stuff. So, mm, not good, eh? See, I told you this channel was all the negatives as well as all the positives. I try and be as honest as I can, but... Everyone thinks, um, anyway, nah, right, see you in a minute. Right, if you can hear a noise in the background, that is me pumping up one of my tyres. I've got a slow puncher. It's not a puncher, it's, I don't know, it just loses air after a few weeks. Anyway, that's what that is. So some time has passed since the last clip you just saw. Uh, I got in touch with a the company. They sent me three more cameras to replace the faulty or damaged ones. But, um, so yeah, you, these, some of them cameras are meant to be mounted on their side. Uh, I didn't specify it from the start. I wanted the cameras to all be the right way up. So they had to send me three of those sort of ca camera configurations. It's a shame that you can't just have one camera and just twist it. Like you, like you can mirror and stuff on the screen here. It's a shame you just can't rotate the image as well. That would be a lot simpler. Didn't, they wouldn't have to have different style of cameras. A um, couple of points. They're now going to produce stainless steel screws. Um, so if you do get these cameras, make sure that you give them the, the bolts that come with it a little bit of a paint or something, just to so they don't go rusty. I, I'm going to be doing that on these ones. Um, and yeah, hopefully these, these ones now that have gone on won't get any condensation inside them. But you know, I will let you know if they do. So let me show you, I've finally got it all working. It is a bit of a pain. <laughs> it's a bit of a ball ache to try and configure them. Once you know how to do it, it's not really. You have to plug one camera in. Plug one camera in, then select which channel you want that to be paired to. So then pair that one, then unplug camera one and plug in camera two. Go to the second screen you want to, the second channel you want to pair that to pair camera two, unplug camera two, go and plug in camera three, pair camera three onto channel three, unplug camera three, plug in camera four, pair camera four to channel four, uh, and then plug them all in and they should all be paired to the channel that you paired them to. So it's a bit of a pain, especially when they're up on the, uh, the roof of this, I've got to keep going up and down and uh, anyway, it was a bit of a pain, but we're finally there. So let me, let's switch it on. All right. Here we go, you can see, I've got, oh, I'm going to have to show you on the, uh, I will take this memory card inside and I'll put that into this video so you can see all these cameras working. <clears throat> Channel 1 is forward, facing forward. It's not flickering in real life, that's just the camera frame rate, okay? Camera 1 is facing straight forward. 
the, the image is actually good. Uh, if I can show you on the camera, if I can drop this footage into this video, then you'll see. Camera, it looks pretty good on the screen. Camera two is to the right hand side of the van. I can now see if anything, any goings on happening over here. Likewise with number three is the back camera. So I'm looking right at the back. Uh, let me put this into reverse. I don't know how clean this camera is, but yeah, you can see that is the, the image from behind. And then camera four is the other side of my van. So I will try and pair, I will try and overlay some of that footage into this video so you can see. Uh, I haven't done that myself yet, just so the, as I see the quality myself will be quite good on a bigger screen. So yes, that is my cameras done. The only thing I want to do now is to, because the cam the screen gets its power from this uh, cigarette port down here, I'm gonna wire a, I'm gonna wire that up to my 12 volt system so I don't have to turn the ignition on at night to view this monitor. Uh, so I'll run a 12 volt lead to a switch. I'm gonna put a switch on the dashboard here, uh, which gives live to this cigarette port with my leisure system power rather than the, uh, ignition so yeah when i'm sneaking sneaking to the front of the van here to view noises that are happening outside the van while i'm camping i don't want to have to turn the ignition on i want to just be able to flick a switch here and it comes and it comes on so i'm going to sort that out another day um but yeah i have tried this out with all the screens on all the foil blinds on for these windows and the signal is actually really good there's no interference no crackly images like I thought there would be with the wirelessness of this system. So I was really impressed with that. Yeah, just a couple of pointers to the company to change all them bolts. Change all these bolts that are in the back so they don't go rusty. And um, I mean, there's even water leaking out of this one. So yeah. Before you go out and buy these, message me. But yeah, that's they're outside exterior cameras, so they, sh they shouldn't be doing, they shouldn't be leaking, they shouldn't be getting rusty. So the company will sort them problems out, I'm sure. But yeah, drop me a message if you, uh, drop me a message or look down in the description of this video to see how I'm getting on, because this video will be a couple of weeks after today's date. Yeah, look in the description down below if I have had any issues with these cameras uh, before you go and buy them. Right, so the idea is that you got all the blinds on the windows like I have now. Usually, you sh quite often struggle to get normal phone signal once you've got all the blinds on the windows. Let's have a look at my phone. It all depends on the area of, that you're in, of course. I've got a little bit of signal on my phone, but these cameras don't use cellular, cellular, you know, data. It's a wireless receptor. Receptor. So let's see. still get can you see you still get decent signal no crackly signal front we've got some dirt on it from driving that's the side that's the rear view that's the other side and it's recording so even with all the splines on the windows. My my concern that I had initially was wrong. That's, that's very st very good, very stable. I've never even seen them flicker. So yeah, good job on the wireless s s sender receiver, whatever it is. So yeah, pleased with that. There you go. I don't know if you saw that car just drove by. There you go. <laughs> you see that on three different cameras there. The right, uh, where is it? You'll see it on there, there, and there. The right hand side of my van, the front of my van, and then the left side of my van. So you'll see it one, two, three. You'll see it in, in, if it's coming from the right hand side, that is. If it's coming from the other side, you're gonna see it three, two, uh, three, one, two. Let's wait for one more. 
Oh, I hope you can hear me by the way, my heater was on. It's just going quiet now. Come on, cars. Here we go. Where's it gonna go? Is it gonna go one, two, three? Oh, it's going the other way. One. That one. Oh, he's parking next to me. Oh. What's going on? What's going on? What are you doing? Turn my light off. This is what the cameras are for. What is he doing? Dogs out, she's going for a walk. Is that what she's doing? Poor woman, spying on this poor woman. She's just going for a dog walk, and I'm probably parked in her area that she always parks in. I apologise to this woman, I am totally spying on you. But I'm testing out the cameras. That's how it works. You have all the blinds on the windows at night and you don't want to pull the blinds or the curtains open so everyone can see that you're in the van. That's what I had to do before, I had to turn off all the lights in here and then peer around my blinds. But now I could have just had a quick look on there, found out it's just a woman doing a dog walk and then, you know, I don't have to worry about all the noises outside my van. Do you know what I mean? It's definitely a peace of mind thing. Anyway, that's how that works. <laughs> okay, so here's the night vision. I think I need to adjust my cameras slightly because the white of the van is blowing out the focus. Um, uh, let's go through the cameras. Camera one, it's got a bit bigger dirt, dirt on the lens, so... That's always going to happen when driving, so I'm going to need to keep it clean quite quite often. But here comes a car. Or two. So the night vision is pretty good on, 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 on this. But yeah, like this is the side, right hand side, so this is all blown out here. Because, because of this is so bright, it's made this darker, so if I was to aim it right a bit, I'd have less of this and it would be able to focus more on here. But... Saying that, when a car comes by, well, yeah, that's obviously it's got headlights, so it's nice and light. But if people were wandering here, I wonder if it would pick up the people here. I'm gonna have to walk around the van myself, aren't I? And test it out. This is the back of the van. That looks really good. I think because it needs stuff to bounce off the infrared. I think it's infrared it uses. Whatever it uses, it needs to have objects to bounce back the light. I think that's probably what it is. So you've got the tree and the fence here and the grass, so you can see it's clearly. You can see that quite clearly. And the other side, there's another car going by. So yeah, you can't see anything here. Um, again, I've got so much of my van in the shot. Just need to aim it left a bit. I think that would help out with the vision. But yeah, I mean, pretty good overall, night vision. I'm reading now the camera's Amazon listing. Okay, let's go through it and see what it says. The camera lens is coated with anti-water, anti-oil film to prevent water drop gathering and staying to blur the lens. Droplets will drop directly. That's not true. I've seen drops of water in the vision on the camera. Maybe they don't, maybe it's not as bad as it, if it didn't have all that. 
stuff on the lens, but I have seen that. Being fog resistant, always make sure high clarity for the camera, no matter which kind of weather conditions. Camera with detachable module design, easy for assemble and dis disassemble. Okay, smart IR cut super night vision coming in with one HD 1080p, 120 degree wide viewing angle RV backup camera, wireless with super infrared night vision. IR lights will turn on automatically when the moment there is not enough, it's not my reading necessarily, the, the, the translation is not great, the, the, the wording is not great. Uh, IR lights will turn on automatically the moment when there's not enough light without any latency. Even in complete darkness, it can illuminate the rear view image within 33 feet to see all obstacles behind your car. It's helpful when driving on the highway or parking in the underground garage. So yeah, I've noticed on the lights, there's a little really, really faint infrared light that appears on the cameras. Um, apparently that's automatic. I was worried that that would be on all the time. So I would like to check that. But yeah, if that comes on automatically when it gets dark, that's great. No need to run long cables through the vehicle. Only power RV backup camera wireless. Yeah, so you don't have to... If it was a wired camera, you'd have to run a cable. Lots more cables, but they they, uh, they just need a positive and a negative. <clears throat> yeah. 7-inch anti-glare monitor. Come in with park assist lines and split screen displaying a clear and vivid image for up to four cameras. All around coverage, front side rear view, built in DVR support 720 HD loop recording. Ah, for continuous driving observation like dash cam. The windshield and dashboard mount allow for easy viewing. Okay, so that was one of my issues I had. I, I played back the footage, you've probably seen it already. It didn't look 1080 to me, 1080p, the uh, the playback footage. I'll put it on the screen again now. That's definitely not 1080, so I was, that's what I thought. Because it says on the on the main advert, let me show you. It says here, RV backup camera, DVR recording 4HD 1080. Yeah, so the 1080, you see 1080 and you think, okay, that's going to be, that's going to record in 1080. DVD are recording 4HD 1080, so it says here, RV backup camera, wireless, DVR, recording, 4HD 1080. So that looks to me like it records in 1080. But I don't think it does. It's definitely, the playback definitely wasn't 1080. So maybe it uh, rec it records, in, yeah, it record, I think it records in 720, but the viewing on the screen is 1080. A little disappointing in that. Upgraded long range and stable signal strength. The 2.4 GHz digital wireless communication provides a reliable digital connection with no lag between the wireless backup camera monitor. Tested up to 56 foot for high speed driving uh, and observation and maximum 65 foot for slow speed driving or reversing. Ideal choice for large vehicles like RVs, motorhomes, trucks, trailers, fans, shuttle buses, commuter buses, school buses and tractors. Yeah, I have noticed that the signal is, is really good actually. Uh, maybe once or twice I've heard I've seen it flick, but it comes up comes straight back on um, But it, that's really rare. The signal is good. I've been impressed with that After sales service provide proven Proven 100% satisfaction experience is our main priority to customers feel free to contact us if the products don't meet your expectations So all in all Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I, I quite like it um, I just need to wait now until we get some more rain and especially when I'm driving so I've got all the driving rain on the cameras as well just want to make sure that they, they don't leak if they don't leak again I'll just put it down to those other the other cameras two of them being faulty but I, I, I don't have much faith for them not leaking at this stage so we'll give it a week or two driving some rain and we'll see so I'll get back to you in a minute. I don't know if you can see, but they've now got raindrops on them. Apparently they've got a film on them to stop, to stop that happening. That's, it's got marks all over it from the raindrops. So I mean, again, it does say it's supposed to stop doing that. But maybe it would be worse if we didn't have the, this stuff on the lens. But 
still see. It's just a little bit buried from the raindrops, but I mean, it's raining. <laughs> Can only do, you, can only, you can only do so much, right? Uh, I've made a few different versions of this video. But I just don't know what to, I don't know what to do, really. I've had a few too many issues with them to kind of recommend these cameras to you guys. They're kind of working now, but I've still got a bit of an issue with them. The one that's on the front, I mean, they're designed for reversing cameras, parking cameras, right? So like they normally would be at the back of the van. So I've got one at the front. I've, I'm trying to use these as security cameras. But the one at the front has got a little bit of condensation in it. So I don't have much faith for them not leaking. Uh, so I told the company I can't really recommend them. You know, I like to be honest with my channel. my channel. So they've told me not to release the video. But I'm going to release it anyway. Just I'm just not going to mention the company name. So... <clears throat> I kind of can, I kind of can use them for what I want them for, but they some of them have leaked. It's not 1080. The advert says 1080p, 1080p. It's, it's not 1080. It's 720. Yeah, I just had too many issues with them. The cameras themselves look great. They feel rugged and heavy and weighty. You know, good. The monitor is okay. The, the programming on it, you know, is a little bit simple, but. I like the screen, it's big, the wireless signal, it's really good, you know, it's really good. The night vision is okay, it's infrared, so, yeah, it's okay, it's not brilliant, but it's okay. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I can't really, hand on heart, say that, you know, I would, I would get these cameras without you guys, and they're okay. They're okay, but not great. How's that? They're going to serve my purpose for now, until... The next load of rain that we get that comes through and who knows maybe they're gonna leak again so they're meant to be rated for waterproof but anyway <sighs> yeah there won't be any links or discount codes down below because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ref, uh, refer you guys to this company but let me show you where we're at battery's about to die so let me be be quick the screen is gonna look like it's flickering but it's not so camera one is the front camera, which is the one I have the issue with. There's a little bit of condensation or moisture just on the right in the centre, so it's a little bit bl blurry. The rest of the cameras, I mean, they're okay. They will serve a purpose. That's the rear view, and then the other side, and then all four cameras. I mean, so yeah, I mean, I've got they're, they're okay. Yeah, that's where we that's where we stand. See, I told you all that. I'm honest, I'm not just saying these products are good because they're free. They're not always amazing. Anyway, thank you for watching everybody. <laughs> Hope you're well. See you next week.